Well, good evening, and welcome to Conan Exiles After Dark. <laughs> actually, no, uh, if you're familiar with the game, the nudity filter is actually currently turned uh, uh, completely on. So there is absolutely no, <clears throat> no nudity that we will find this evening. Uh, hey, that's Conan for you. <laughs> so as the title says, this is a passion project of mine. Um, not the game. I'm not a developer. I don't. <laughs> I can't do any of that stuff. No. Um, this is a server. This is my server, actually, for Conan. It is a public server, uh, so anyone can join. Uh, just throwing that out there. <laughs> but, uh, no, and if, if you're familiar with Conan Exiles, if you're familiar to, especially with modded servers of Conan Exiles, uh, you'll know what I mean by passion, because that's kind of the only way you can keep going with some of these things. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's just start simply. I guess uh, we'll just walk around my place a bit. This is my new place. <sighs> just cover some of the basic stuff here. So we are what is called a PVEC server. Stands for Player Versus Environment. Uh, what is that? A forward slash? No, just to freaking know the terminology. The C stands for conflict. So in other words, we are a player versus environment, a PVE, a chill, calm, builders kind of server. Uh... The conflict, the C, is honestly only there for events and for the odd players that like to beat each other up now and again. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you get some of those people. Yeah, so here we are. It's my lovely greenhouse. I'm still rebuilding. As I said, uh, I don't know. Did I say it? I don't know. I lost, <laughs> I lost my previous place, the place that I had had. Uh, since we started this server, we are going on a year and seven months now that we've been up and running. Unfortunately, our numbers are still uh, rather low. We've had our ups. <clears throat> we've had some high points where we've we've had decent numbers of people. And uh, we, we generally run quite a few events. Don't mind me. <laughs> As I've said in past streams, we all got to have our eens. You got to have your caffeine, you got to have your nicotine, you got to have your morphine, just got to have your eens. Hi, Two. How you doing? Yep, cats as always. You know how we roll around these here parts. Cats. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, good lord, I keep getting sidetracked. My, uh, uh sadly, one of the mod authors, we have a, we have a modded server, a heavily modded server. We started out with a handful of mods, but we very, very quickly <laughs> grew to a rather large number of mods, which I can tell you right now up front, unless you've got a serious high-end rig, uh, you're going to have some some lag issues when entering built-up areas. Uh, I'll show you. We, got a, we actually have three different towns currently that we've added. Um, and you'll see when, when I first get there, there's going to be a, a little, mm, 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 one of those, <laughs> one of those kind of moments, you know, um, listen, it comes with the territory of mods, uh, especially with this game. When you use quite a lot of them, it can add those kinds of issues. It can also add some other issues. As I said before, uh, the reason I didn't start at 10, like I wanted to, it's 10 for me. Uh, technical issues. Conan, listen, I love this game, but I have put up with a lot, a lot, a lot of headaches. My, my other admins can tell you, yeah, we've, we've, uh, we put up with a lot, but for a reason, uh, especially because the things that these mods add to us. If you're familiar, Conan Exiles, if you've ever played it, by now you've guaranteed seed things that Wait a minute, that's... you can't do that. You can't have that in a game. You know, like, my custom flag here on my armor stand, that's... that's so not vanilla. That's... Yes. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout-out quick to Dude from Dude's Delightful Decorations. That is, unfortunately, uh, the mod that did... that author lost all of his files. Uh, it was a tragic, tragic day for... 
everybody who plays this game. Dudes was, Dudes Delightfuls was a much, much loved mod. We, we weep for you. We weep for you, dude. We do. We do. Uh, especially because my entire house <laughs> wiped out. Mind you, all his work was wiped out. So uh, let's not compare. His was the tragedy. Mine was just an inconvenience. But yeah, this is this is my back little garden here. As I said, uh, we are rather chill. We don't do PvP. You know, we don't have open PvP. There's no just attacking people at random, at will. It would be pointless because uh, you keep everything on death with us. You don't lose anything. We, that, you know, it's just one of those nice little things. Listen, we've, we've got a lot added to this. So the base game experience gets extended a lot further. Boy, there's a lot to really go over, I guess, with this... This server, I'm trying to think, <laughs> where's a good place to start? That's why I'm just sort of standing around the house here, uh, you know, giving you a quick little tour. Uh, so you might notice, you know, a couple of little things here. Down at the bottom, I actually have my, my status bar instead of up in the top left, and it's got all types. Okay, good. The nudity filter is working because... I know full well both of these dancers don't normally have tops out here. <laughs> they just don't. Don't judge me. So can I get a good... No, it's not going to... Yeah, some of these items. A little weird when you sit in them, but... And I got a lot of workbenches out here. Now, why would you leave your workbenches out? Because we... This is one of the, the biggest, and I trust me, it is one of the biggest rules on this server. Uh, there is absolutely zero theft. We do not tolerate theft of any kind whatsoever. You simply, listen, you know, a lot of servers call themselves builder servers and things like that, but you can't build, you can't decorate, you can't do things truly the way you want to do them if you have to worry constantly about things being stolen. And so that's just it. There's solid, solid rule in place that you absolutely cannot, cannot steal. You're like, look, I got, I got ivy trellises going up here. This is my bedroom, or sort of, I mean, well, that's where the bed is. I mean, this is, uh, this is just something I put together. That's uh, one of my kitties I lost. Again, uh, we think the mods are worth it here uh, <laughs> because you just, that's one of those awesome things. You uh, link it to just a simple, uh, one of those photo sharing sites, not photo bucket, but like, you, you know what I'm saying? One of those. And yeah, you just link the address to it. I believe it's from Shani's stuff, which is one of our, one of the mods that we use. Again, uh, nobody on my server has authored any of these mods if it ever sounds like we're trying to take credit, I'm, if I ever sound, no, 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 no. We are not taking any credit for any of the mods you see in this whatsoever. Uh, I refer to their respective authors. You can find all of their information through uh, the Steam page. And if you're curious about what uh, mods we have, you can, you can, we do have a Discord for the server. <laughs> if you go to my about page on Twitch, uh, you click on the banner for the server, and that will take you to the Discord page there. You can find all the information you need as far as mods, things of that nature. There, I think I've yammered enough on that. This here is a portal out to one of our towns, Blackwing. We'll get there at some point. Uh, like Maria, this is one of our events. Uh, we might take a sneak peek at that. I had to rebuild that. Uh, that was lost. When, when, uh, poor dude. Feel bad for the guy. Beautiful, beautiful work he did. If he makes a comeback, I would highly recommend checking out anything he works on or has had his hands in. This is just one, a little chill back zone. Yeah, again, one of the mods allows you to make all types of different custom stuff, putting in photos. You know, again, just off photo sharing sites. This was a Christmas present to me 
and the queen. That is uh, another one of the admin, also my wife. <laughs> this was a Christmas present from one of our other admin. I love it. <laughs> the hair matches. See? Got old man hair going. <laughs> Okay, I think I, I covered, you know, most of the basics there, and I probably forgot a whole bunch of stuff, but anybody has a question, you can always ask. So, let's see here. All right, let's go and start with... First and foremost, I highly recommend to any new players that come to our server, when you get the chance, Take yourself on out. <laughs> That's right. This is another kind of portal. Take yourself on down over this direction. Oh, I have no idea what I just did there. I'm jumping all around like an idiot. Okay, so this is the shattered bridge down here. You will yeah. find here at the ship. Boy, I'm Lord knows what I'm doing that I can't see at the moment. <laughs> I just hear myself hit, hot, hit, jumping, I'm rolling, I'm doing something. <clears throat> so right now we are traveling to the town of New Hope. New Hope is our largest uh, settlement. It is also the first settlement that was placed into existence here on the server. It has actually recently uh, undergone a facelift. When we lost poor dude, a bunch of structures got messed up. We lost some little things here and there. It was a lot of decorative stuff. Dude's just, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> uh, as you see, it looks like the screen is frozen. We just teleported into a heavily built up area. So yeah, you're gonna hit these little lag spikes. If I'd walked in, if I'd run in and let it uh, res in a bit slower, the spike wouldn't be as bad. I would be able to get up and moving a bit quicker. But again, this is the price you pay. I don't have a, a high-end rig in the slightest. So listen, man, it is what it is. So anyway, here we are down in bottom of New Hope. Oh, yep, see, we've got a little tink, 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 tink. And nope, can't jump. You are not. Oh, there we go. Quick little tour on through. Here we've got our stables. We sell lag spikes. They're absolutely free with every purchase. <laughs> oh, I have a new caravan package. Don't worry about that. <laughs> That's, uh, again comes from one of the other mods that would be from ewa eewa end game hold on end game extended weapons arsenal or end game extended extended or end game or end game ex don't don't whatever anyway we sell we sell i think just about every mount you can get in the game again don't mind how slow mine is taking i have a I have a medium tier, slightly old, about four or five years now, four years, I think, uh, laptop, okay? So don't expect massive performance on my end. Expect a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, this here, this is the sculptor's house. This came in from the Dark Desires mod, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it works on a, its own different currency. We have, there's several different currencies in the game at the moment. I could go on about this forever, honestly. Just some decorative stuff. But, I like the building. And we've just got down here, this is a good place to start because we have salesmen of all different types of materials. So, not just basic stuff that you might need. So we've got armors down here, we've got the hell else we got down here so there we've got a tanner there's a trapper so they ah the master colorist there we are you see he just sells yeah okay you can probably use that but so here i'll give you a quick look so if you look here 
Why is he look? No, because I'm on the bench, not him. Yeah, on him. I tell you. <laughs> and see, here we are. It goes right to the buy menu instantly. And there, that's everything he sells. That's the master colorist. He's pretty much got all the dyes possible. Um, and then another nifty feature with some of these guys. Let's check with him. Okay, so understanding the tabs is a little twisted. Buy means you buy, not him buy. Sell means you sell him buy. Don't ask. Don't, don't ask. So he does not let you sell him anything. Some of the others do, though. Uh, and it's a good way to, to earn up some money. I don't know if you saw right there, but here we go in my over. There we are. Ah, so if you look down in what would be, I guess, trying to do this opposite down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see it says wallet, got a whole bunch of different currencies. Yeah, again, uh, the base game in game, it's not even a currency. The base game has gold coins, silver coins. Did it? It didn't have bronze coins. I think that's from one of the mods. Don't quote me, though. <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, that can all be converted into in-game currency. No, I, I knew what I was saying. Uh, oh, here we are. This is... Yep. So... Talking to this individual, the, we have added quests. So we have NPCs scattered around mostly the towns at the moment. But there's the. Ooh, I'll have to show you that. You'll see. Uh, yeah, talking to them, they, they offer quests, they offer different stuff like that. Ah, the Hall of Legends. You gotta be at least level 60 to get up in this, this wondrous place because it sells some of the more higher end. Not a lot. What is your problem? Will you open and let me? Am I too tall? Did I put those lights like in a... <clears throat> can I... Now can I... Really? Did I actually put those lights in such a way that... I, most of the time, I'm in this game, I am flying around doing admin stuff, and I literally mean fly. So, half the time, I'm over in here, up on the cheat panel. Come on, load yourself in. There we are. This nifty little button where it says fly, and voila. So, I don't generally use the doors too often. I will have to add those to my to-do list. Well, it's much easier. That is right. You did hear a lightsaber. You're not hearing things. That was a lightsaber. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> anyway, New Hope. Uh, this is a rather large establishment. It sells all types of things. A lot of stuff that gets bought. You can... Uh, yeah, you can find all types of stuff. All types of quests. I do recommend... Here we are. This is the appraiser. So if you do find... Gold and silver and things of that nature. Come on, man. See, I told you, I don't have the greatest of system, and we are here in a rather built-up area, so that is a fair warning. So, yeah, you can sell to this man all types of just stuff that you collect. All different things for all different prices. And, yes, you can even exchange. There are points where you need these physical objects in the game. <clears throat> so the... La, la, la. Hold on. Coffee. Oh, that's better. Yeah, there are uh, times where you will need these items for base game stuff. So you can cash out from your wallet for a physical version. See? We get... We get... We get thinky in this game. <sighs> Up, oh, up, oh, come on. Oh, boy, I tell you. New, New Hope's a little rough. Uh, we uh, we all admit it, New Hope is a little rough. 
again, first build, so it's got a ton going on that really puts a little stress on computers. Yeah, here we are, the Stone and Bone Tavern. That is the absolute first structure I ever put any time or energy into on the server. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is the mayor's. He's a, he's a good place to talk. A bunch of people around here to talk to. All types of stuff like that. As I said, some extra quests and whatnot. This is another one. This is the Hunter's House, I believe. Yes, Hunter's House. So just like the... Sculptor's House? Is that what I said before? I don't even remember. Same thing. Oh. This was uh, one of our admin... Her, we have no idea what happened. She logs on one night, and poof, her build is just gone. Nobody else's is gone. There'd been no base game updates. There'd been no mod updates. There'd been nothing, just poof. And I mean, she was she was pretty devastated. She'd spent quite a bit of time working on that. Actually, I think she built it before she even joined us as admin. So yeah, she was a little, she was a little heartbroken. I don't blame her. So I built this for her. It was the least I could do. I mean, she was admin by that point. So uh, we cover accidents of gaming. So, <laughs> so in other words, uh, if something happens and your base gets, that's it. It gets wiped out. It disappears. Yeah, we're not going to say, well, tough. No, we're, we're going to give you the materials to help rebuild. We're not going to. No, no, that's. That's just rough, man. You can't be blamed. This is uh, this is the Fight Club ring. Uh, and usually, every Sunday night, we have Fight Club. It's just as you think. We get together with different themes, and we try to beat each other for a title. There. There. That's the extent of about the PvP on here. So it's perfectly... A little bit... <laughs> ah, consensual. Thank you. This is the archery range for the Robin Hood archery tournament. Oh, that's always a fun one. Especially, especially round three. Everybody hates round three. <laughs> okay, so that's that's just a quick rundown of New Hope. Again, that is a uh, a good place to start. If you can do, ooh, that's what I wanted to show you though, real quick. <laughs> there's the fishmonger's place oh will you just res in come on come on ah lord uh, as you might guess we don't spend a whole lot of time in New Hope it's usually just for shopping trips <laughs> and there we got a thrall bazaar we do sell all levels of thralls, T1 through 4. They are priced differently. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and buy them because uh, we don't, the purge is also turned off. Which a lot of people, what's, well, how do you get the purge thralls? There's other ways. We sell them. Uh, you can get them in events. You can get them from contests, giveaways, things of that nature. But this is what I wanted to show you here. As I mentioned before, the biggest rule on this server is no theft. There's other rules, but one of the bigger ones. Uh, if you get on and you make it to New Hope, I would highly recommend you make your way down here. Cheesecake. Nine. <laughs> I uh, highly recommend you make your way down here and speak to these gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these individuals, and and they will tell you their story, and it is uh, it is worth it is worth the time to hear their story. I will tell you that they are there courtesy of uh, one of our wonderful admin, Aloya. <laughs> oh yeah, oh we have a sandstorm incoming. That's always a beautiful event. What is that? An imp? I hear an imp. Well, it's kind of hard to see. This is the evade ring ring. You've heard of dodgeball? Well, we have evade ring. <laughs> and this is the ring you play evade ring in. 
Oh, I always love the animation of this. Even on my beat up mid grade, always love watching the sandstorm. I tell you, when I first started this game, everything scared the piss out of me. <laughs> Especially the sandstorm. <laughs> That is just so cool. Yes, I am in God mode, uh, which means I'm not taking any damage at the moment. So that's about the only way I'm just floating around up here doing my own thing. Boy, ah, my system is having some issues around here. Uh, there are a couple of ways around some of the lag too, is uh, we try not to use too many moving lights anymore. You know like torches and things like that there are honestly a million options for different lighting that's static that doesn't move it's great honestly i'll show you some and also there are other npcs added that you can you know just like the rest of the thralls knock out run on the wheel of friendship <laughs> wheel of friendship hmm. and uh they're called lamp lighters as the name implies that's what they do you set a time to turn the lamps on you'd set a time to turn the lamps off and that's what they do and it cuts down on it so when it's daytime you don't need torches going they go and turn them off here let me just introduce you here to the creature i'm sorry is he is he really coming for some of this where is that in? i hear him where is he where is he i hear you where are you got to be up here. Where are you, Mr. Imp? Because now you're just agitating me. Running your mouth, acting all tough. Where is he? you see him? I don't see him. Wow, I am getting some serious lag on my system tonight. Yeah, that's rough. I still don't see him anywhere. What, is he up here? I really just don't see him. Anymore. And now he's gone. No. There's the me. Ugh, whatever. I have no time for you, sir. Yes. Now, another NPC added in because this is one of the only ways you can get over to Blackwing. Yet another town. Now this town, less lag. Less. <laughs> uh, this town is actually not built by us. This town, this entire town, actually is a mod itself. Now there, there's a lot of the decorations we've added, some a lot of NPCs we've added. Then there, 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 there are a few buildings that we have added here and there. But you'll see Blackwing... Oh, Blackwing's gorgeous. This is this is another one of those mods that is just ooh, too sweet. I believe this is called the RP Village add-on and we do use a chunk of it as an RP only zone. We do we do have RP on our server, but it is not uh it's not forced, it's not vital. It's not necessary. You're not going to miss out on events or anything of that nature if it's just not your bag. I can also say uh, we don't uh, we do not do the ERP. Like, listen, man, if that's your bag, knock yourself out. Just do it into DMs, you know? Like, we're, we're, we more do the RP because it's fun just to, you know, be a different person. We, we don't get that much into it. <laughs> we have some greeters here to talk that's a good way to get back and this here we're just we're just gonna take a, a nice light stroll oh look we have a friendly bar oh it might be friendly I don't know but see this is just the building was here we went and decorated it so yeah what he said uh, the NPCs here actually it looks like he'll talk no, that's just, he just stands there and looks drunk. But the bartender, I believe, yes, 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 yes. So as you can see here, he has, wow, that is, I really put a lot of drinks on that guy. 
but he does not buy anything from you, so it's up to you if you'd like to buy something from the Borat-looking gentleman. <laughs> this here is one of the player shops. They've set this up themselves. The music is not... not liking it tonight. <laughs> Yeah, you can, uh, players can set up shops here in town. I don't think she finished this one. Nope, she just got people standing around in there. She hasn't quite finished it yet. More NPCs selling more goods and wares. All types of stuff. I am having issues tonight. You know what? I, I will freely admit we've had a, a down period at the moment, so we haven't had really any players at all. <laughs> uh, so a lot of us have been branching out, you know, taking the time to play some other stuff. Because I got to say, uh, this is the first server I've ever had myself. First one I've ever owned or run or anything like that. And good God, uh, to keep people happy. And that's not a judgment against my players, not in the slightest, but... No, to to keep people happy, man, you gotta work as an admin. You got, you really gotta work. You don't get much time to actually play. It's a little rough, but again, it's you know, I love the game. Another shop here. This is actually one of mine. <laughs> oh my lord, what is up with my lag tonight? Are you good there, sir? Because you seem to really be having some issues tonight. Like, I don't normally have these many issues. To be fair, I've never streamed Conan, so I don't know if that contributes to it. Let me see here. Check things like... Uh, so I've got some slow frames, but no frame drops. Going 60 FPS, according to this. Beats me, man. So this is the back end. Oh, an event has been gone. Well, I'm a little busy. This is the back end here of uh, Blackwing, and this is the RP zone. So not only is this for players, you know, specifically just to be in an RP area, but this is also where you will find... We've put in different RP trainers. Uh, we kind of have a, a system-based on Dungeons and Dragons. It's not. Listen, it's very loose. And if anything, it's based on second edition. Okay? Second. That's the best. I will not hear otherwise. Go ahead. Change my mind. <laughs> but uh, this here, so there. Even says RP recruiter. And you just talk to them. And they'll explain things to you. Back here we have, this is interesting. This is not a recruiter, so to speak. This is an RP teacher. So you can pick up some additional skills. Now let me show you real quick. This is... Dun, dun, dun. All right, so courtesy of a mod called Roleplay Redux. Love it. Uh, we have put in a ton of work with it, but it is a great mod at its core. Uh, I highly recommend checking that one out. If RP is your thing, trying to put together character sheets and whatnot. Here's just a quick look at mine at the moment. So, some of these you might recognize, especially if you're used to things like Dungeons and Dragons or most any TTRPGs, to be quite honest. Some of it may look a bit strange, but again, trying to translate it to a video game. But technically, I, I didn't create the game, and I don't... I've looked into modding a bit. I commend the people that do it you are you are wonderful saints thank you for what you give us okay let me just put that out there <laughs> but uh let me go through here so yeah so translating it listen we do what we have to do and you'll see you might recognize some stuff some stuff that looks a little weird a little extra information these are just emotes it's just all types of you know you want to have some fun with it have some fun with it <laughs> All right, there we go. 
Just let you throw a little. Hold on. There we go. See? See? <laughs> Uh, oh, you should have met our ambassador of aesthetics, Ziva. Uh, Ziva could use these emotes to put together the greatest dance routine you have ever seen uh, in a video game. She, look, you can see all these different weird things here, all right? Different types of all over the place. No, it's great for RP stuff to... No, it's it's all types of good, but... God, the way she put them together... Uh, listen, she could dance. <laughs> I gotta tell you, she could dance. We miss you, Ziva. You gotta come back. Uh, runes. So these are sort of like... Uh, hmm. I guess these would be sort of... Sort of... Oh, I am completely drawn a blank on the word that I am looking for. Magic items. Thank you. There we go. Magic items and things of that nature. So, grant you perks, grant you bonuses, things of that nature. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot of stuff to go through. Okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. Back here we got... Oh, that's right. We got all of the uh, religion trainers. Boy, my lag is killing me tonight. Let's see here. Yep, there's the Setite Priestess. Train you for the Set. The Keto. Dathites. Ymir. Kettle Sog. Mitra. Gotta have your Yog. <laughs> yeah, there's a quick... Let's get a quick bird's eye view here. Up, up. And away. Now, RP Village add-on, or as we refer to it, Blackwing, is rather substantial in size, as you can see. This is the back area. This is all... This we all reserved for RP only, back here. Uh, there's, there's some hidden little things here and there, some extra stuff we've added, and it's still being worked on, so there's not a ton there. Again, our player base has uh, dropped down low once again. So, you know, things have slowed up. And wow, am I having some serious issues tonight with my system. Not too sure why. I don't ever have this much lag. Again, it's probably just because I haven't been here in a while. That's right. That is a rainbow. Uh-huh. We put up a rainbow because we like it and it makes us smile. <laughs> They, this is a rather substantial place. Um, there are some businesses that exist, some player run ones, some that we put in as admin, but a lot of them are empty. And we do rent them out. Actually, I'm pretty sure we don't charge anything. You know, I mean, if you'd rather have an apartment, so to speak, in the city than go build your own place, hey, why not? We accommodate all types of weirdness. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Uh, if I could just stop with all of the... I'm having some serious issues tonight. Again, heavily, heavily modded. Um, I can't even show you right now all of them, but heavily modded. And again, you know, it will put attacks on your system. That's for certain. But let me show you a nifty one here not really marked on the map come on you can get there there we go this is this is just an area that it started out we just needed a flat area to build a jousting setup you know you have mounts in the game you have giant lances we're like yeah we gotta have just it's a no-brainer right so we set up i'm gonna give it a minute here to res before I try to turn around. So we went and built a jousting arena. And then, oh, you know what? We've got another event in mind. Why don't we go build another little thing right next to that jousting arena? Because, well, it's a, a good spot for it. And, well, that just kind of kept spiraling, and we added more, and we added more, and we added more. 
and now we've got the makings of a small Olympic village. Uh, and actually, we do plan on <laughs> at some point having a, like a half day long uh, sort of event once we get the players back up. To look for sort of like a, a Grand Olympic champion, you know. So this here, this odd little structure, this is for the ever-popular Donkey King. Uh, <laughs> uh, Donkey King is an exercise in madness, silliness, and uh, <laughs> it's a fun one. That's a, that's a good fun one. And right here, this tiny little setup, this is for our... Battle of Swords. Uh, this is for mounted combat. So you on one horse, me on one, and we go at it. It's just a very small ring for that. Here's the jousting setup. This was the first piece constructed up here. I believe, yes, the Queen built this. The queen put this one together, and it's it works. It's a decent length track. It does the job. Accommodates more viewers than we'll ever need, but hey, that's okay. This is a fun one. This is the barrel race. This is another construction from the queen herself. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with barrel racing. It's a, a horse thing. But you start out the gate here. I'm not going to set it off. Because it is, as you see, all those little... You see the reds there and you see that. If you go through that, whether on foot or on a mount, it will ask if you want to start the trial. Because it's, it's set automated. Although we ask not to really use it in the meantime it's really just for a bit anyway yeah so see it's marked you go around number one and then you go out and you go around number two and then you got to go up you go around number three and then you come all the way back and it's a pain <laughs> no that is a fun one that gets a little tricky we all call each other a lot of names during that it's fun and this here this is one of the more recent things I put together this is the obstacle course and it is rather unpleasant <laughs> I can assure you it is unpleasant <laughs> now that's a fun one I think we've only run that once uh, but everybody had a pretty good time everyone had a pretty good time at that one but yeah so this is the startings of the Olympic Village we might eventually move Fight Club and the archery range up here but no idea on that exactly yet also let me go show you that other one I was talking before about different uh, uh oh it's 11 yeah the server restarts we have two restarts every day one at high noon one at midnight those are est uh, and it is 11 so i've got about an hour left to go before i have to get out of here way up here in the north in the highlands up here in the highlands where the hell was it i know there's a waypoint there waypoint i think is ewa again another mod let me see where'd i land landed right on top of it this structure originally was built by a player that is no longer with us. Uh, it is a very impressive and ambitious build and structure. And again, thankfully, I have God Mode on. We had a big Crommis event. That's right. We had Crommis. And this was where we held it. <sighs> Tell me that doesn't make you a little queasy. Oh, I miss the days when you could do that without God Mode and survive. Yes, this here is uh, the Forgotten Shrine. Because <laughs> that's kind of what he built. He built like this big old sort of church-like structure. Uh, we've changed a few things on the inside. Actually just got a rid of a lot of the decorations. But we kept the original structure. It's gorgeous. really is. And we are using it as a quest hall. So at the moment, again, he built... Look. Okay. You see what this man built? dizzying i know it, it's dizzying so we're getting there but we are turning it into a quest hall so to speak so this is some side this is a side quest right here talking with her that's a whole that's a couple of series of side quests headhunter that's pretty straightforward man buys heads four other items pretty straightforward on that 
Doesn't he look like, uh... Oh, what was his name? Hafton. Hafton from Viking, doesn't he? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I never really looked at the guy before. What do I got going on over here? It's a bartender. Haven't even named you. Wow, that top barely fits. <laughs> Listen, the, the nudity filter's on full, but still. Oh, that's right. These are public teleporters. Why did we have those shut off again? I'll have to get back to that. Again, uh, my to-do list is enormous. Right. Oh, okay. So this is another RP group. This is uh, another group you can join. That one was set up by Aloya, one of our admins, Aloya. And yeah, I believe that's a wizard group or a cleric group. No, it's a wizard group. Pretty certain. But yeah, as you see, uh, still pretty empty, but adding to it slowly, slowly but surely. Maybe that's what I'll stream next time. I'll put, I'll build out another, uh, build a side quest, show you how we do that, or at least how I do it around here. On the lectern. Oh, that's right. Written about this place. Here's a bit secret. There's a waypoint. You gotta find him to use him. <laughs> uh, well, there is a quick rundown of some of the more prominent features around here. Uh, as mentioned, we have a mod called Iwa. Iwa, which is the, the extended in-game weapon or in-game extended. One or the other. Something like that. Uh, that one adds a lot of not just items, as the name would imply, not just weaponry especially, but it adds more questing, it adds more map, it adds more area to work with, more creatures to fight that I'm pretty sure will scale too. So they go by your level, they go up and down, they get pretty vicious actually. <laughs> I... The E ones you can find pretty quick. Just look for the angry three skull that looks really out of place. And yep, that's probably the Ewa one. But Ewa works after level 60. And yes, there is after level 60 because we have a mod that pulls you up to 300. And it takes quite a while as you see down at mine. Yeah, down there I'm only at 155. Uh, I've been running this server how long? That, you, that shows you how little I actually get to play most of the time doing admin work, building things, tearing them down when they're over, cleaning stuff up. Oh, Lord. There's a lot of work. It's fun. Actually, it is to, to torture your players. Oh, here's something nifty. So, if you're familiar with the base game, you might notice this whole area up here. That's, that's not part of the base game. That's not... No. That is yet another mod called the Dark Woods. It is mostly empty. There are some nasty things hidden here and there. Uh, I'm not too sure how much more development's getting done on it. It was it transferred ownership. The original developer, I think, just didn't have the time to be able to work on it anymore. And somebody else did take it over in the modding community, but I can't remember if it's still being actively worked on. Or if it's just a case of the modder is keeping it going during updates. Yeah, updates. Oh, God. That is the bane of the modded server's existence around here, the update. Boy, these maps are fun to try to read when you've gotten a bunch of stuff unlocked. And then there's stuff we've added. And then there's, like here, here, for instance, these things. These crates. So this came about from the Pippi mod. Pippi is like the top mod to have for Conan, even if you don't use any other mod. In fact, that's what gives me such wonderful things as, here, I'll show you. This, this is the Pippi. Most everything up here is Pippi. This is base game vanilla. <laughs> that's what you get as an admin panel in the base game, and Pippi gives you this, 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 this. Just too much, too much stuff. <laughs> Actually, no, it's all just um, uh, controls, mostly, to be able to adjust 
things. I, wow, that was the most descriptive and helpful speech I think I've ever given. Helps you control stuff and change things. Well, at least the dogs are behaving at the moment. That's always nice. Yeah, I'll have to look into that, see if that's getting developed. Anyhow, wow, totally sidetracked. The crates. Uh, there's this little demon thing that flies through the air periodically, and he drops crates. What's in those crates? Eh, just some basic supplies, but never hurts to have some free stuff dropped around. You can't complain about that. I believe it said before an event had started. Has it been 20 minutes? That is another addition uh, from Ewa, I'm pretty certain. We get these random events around the map, which are actually really nifty. They got them color-coded so you can figure out their difficulty, their time, so you only have so long to do them. But they allow you to gain items that, not only just the high-level Ewa stuff, that's how you get a lot of the SIPTA stuff. Uh, we incorporate as much SIPTA as we can, so you still have access to any of the creatures or any anything that's in SIPTA, we try to incorporate so that players can still have access to it. I think I just said that twice in a row, so... Listen, I never said I was a salesman. I never, uh, I actually, I was a salesman for this much time. I uh, had moved out to Oregon, to just outside of Portland, Oregon. This was several years ago, leave me alone. And uh, I was struggling, I was having some issues, and long story short, I got in contact with an individual who put together uh, sales flyers for businesses and had them inserted in like, you know, local newspapers and, and real estate magazines and, you know, that kind of stuff. It was just like a sales flyer. You like that? Just teleported, just teleported home like that? You like that? Yeah. Well, listen, admin, all right? No. <laughs> That's, I just built my place way up here, uh, out in the middle of nowhere made my life a bit easier so in this way I don't get bothered <laughs> so where the hell was I what what was I talking about you're not helping um <laughs> see what I mean about the res issues sometimes oh and that's another reason why we are a very chill server. Because, listen, honestly, you can't take PvP serious when you're doing stuff like that. We have a, we have a world race. And part of it goes... Okay, I don't recommend trying to go through New Hope. I kind of go across the river and around it. But there's a part of it that goes near New Hope. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that's always... Uh, well, that's, that's, you ever run your car into a wall and then have to stand there for three seconds and wait before anything? No? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, you know what? We still got some sunlight. I'm going to give you a sneak peek here. Behind the scenes access, if you will. We have an event... We have two events. We have an event called Thieves' Night, the city of Lankmuria. We also have another one called Call of Carnage, which takes place in the same, uh, this, in the same exact place. Ooh. Creepy music. Uh, Thieves' Night in Lankmuria, though that is a, that is a really fun event. At least I enjoy it. That's where we uh, put the sun down, and well, long story. <laughs> Actually, it's not that long a story, but I just want to give you a quick sneak peek here because I did have to rebuild it. Yeah, yeah, because I built the whole thing out of pieces from, yep, you guessed it, the mod that died. But 
here is the lost city of Langmuria. Eagle Eye View. The history of the city is unknown. But what is known is it is full of treasure. All types of goodies. Problem is it's also full of booby traps. It's full of the spirits of the dead that once inhabited the place. And it's also full of other players that also want that stuff for themselves. And now you have somewhat of an idea of what Thieves' Night is. <laughs> can often be like here. <laughs> and then Call of Carnage, uh, we also play here Call of Carnage, Call of Duty, Call of Carnage, get it? Uh, that's where we run around here. It's a PvP event, and we go at each other with bows, exploding arrows. Yep. <laughs> Call of Carnage, that is a fun one. But yeah, I figured I'd give you a nice overhead view. Thieves' Night is, of course, done in the dark. <laughs> About the best way to do it. Yeah, I just wanted to show that one because, unfortunately, since it's been rebuilt, uh, we have not had the people to play, which is sad because I really, really want to see that one done. Actually, you see where I am? You know, I shot all the way over here for like Maria. Okay, I want to show you something neat here. I don't know if you saw in the background at any point in time. Because uh, again, I'm used to my server. I don't notice a lot of things. But you may have noticed odd structures floating in the sky. Some different colored like... Hey. Yeah, they're these things. They're giant floating islands. Way up in the sky. <laughs> up, up. Aha. There we are. Yup. I think there's nine now. I don't even remember how many there are anymore. There's so many of them. Yup, that's again from another mod. Uh, we reserve those purely for events. This way they don't take up... Uh, any uh, real estate on the map for players, they don't block anything up. And also this way, if there's anything special or repeatable events or things of that nature, we can keep them hidden. This way you don't, you know, just stumble across them and then ruin surprises or anything of that nature. So we'll put some of the bigger side quests, uh, have their own floating island, that's where they're built. Someone just boo at me? I swear I just heard a hoo! I don't see nobody. I know there's some creepiness up ahead. There should be a uh, uh, big fish face. What are they called again? Wow. <laughs> Where is he? Somewhere over here. They hit hard. Again, thankfully, in God mode, so I'm not too concerned. Again, so I was telling you before, you know, like the Ewa stuff you can pick up or pick out if you're familiar with base game. Well, let me see here. Do you like the outfit? Love the outfit. See, shouldn't he be down here? Wasn't he down here somewhere? I'm just sort of talking to myself. You have no idea what I'm going on about. Where are you, you ugly fish-headed fish face fish person thing? Where is he? That's not him. You're just a person. Oh. Me cutlass was growing rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't afraid of you. There he is. This is one of the Ewa things floating around in the world just to make your life more difficult than it needs to be. He still chasing me too. And they hit. Wow. Yeah, they normally hit. Yeah, you go ahead, you fight it. Watch, kills the guy in one shot, I bet you. 
Why are you hitting me for? Not me. Hit him. See, he's stabbing you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep. One shot. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have for health? Yep, see, he's a three skull. And he's got 26, 25,200 for health. Yeah, these, these are not fun things to try to fight. I don't recommend it. Oh, go away. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> You're not scary. You're not scary. Okay, that was a little scary. And as I said, Iwa adds its own oof area. Just the dog. Being the dog. Which is fine. <sighs> no more coffee. Did we land in a tree? Nope, just a bush in the face. There's, there we are. Oof. Presented in smell vision The only way. And here we are. This is the start of the EY area. So this is initially safe. This all here, nothing's going to get you in here. But once you go outside the gate and make your way out there, it gets pretty damn dangerous. I don't want to fly around too much because this is... Yep, just to give you a look. All that, it goes even further back. That's all additional playable area added just from this one mod. Well, it's not added. It's, it's uh, on the map. See where we are? It's just area that's never been used in the game in the base game so they went ahead and put that there what is that i i found a celebration egg happy ewaversary uh, <laughs> okay uh, well, as I said, this is from the Iwa mod. I didn't even know it was Iwa Versary. I know Conan is having an anniversary. It's on its fourth year uh, anniversary, but I was not aware that Iwa was having a celebration as well. So let's see here. What did... Where's the egg? Yep, there we are. Okay, let's see what's in the egg, shall we? Got ourselves... A couple armor scraps. Actually, I. That's beautiful because I need those right now. <laughs> I'm working on a new set of armor. <laughs> Crystal Godbreakers. The hell are those? Yeah, that's right. Not base game. Let me, let me show you some of the awesome stuff in crafting once I res in here. Here are my horsies. I got all types of pets. Oh, wrong way. There's the house. That's my spirit horse. A couple other horsies. These are some of my more fun mounts. Not only do we have a shoe bill, but that's right, I have an ostrich. His name is Squiggles. That's my pelican. He's just a pelican. He's a pet. I don't ride him. This is, uh, this is Buttercup. And that's right. Chief Bullshit Storm. I have a buffalo. <laughs> and I love my buffalo. He is awesome. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not base game. <laughs> Where is it? I can't remember. I don't think so. So let's see here. Let's. Whoa, I was a little dizzying. Let's check out some additional kind of crafting stuff. All right. So let's see here. You of course got your standard 
blacksmith's bench. But no, this one's eldritch power. Oh yeah, all types of weirdness in this. Here's a whole slew. Some stuff you might recognize, and then there's going to be some stuff you won't. Because again, it comes out of mods. These are wrist blades. That's right, assassin, but you know, shing, shing like that. Yep, this, I got a set of these. These are my favorite right here. That's right, it's a wrist crossbow. Yeah, you got to make a little darts for it, but it's a wrist crossbow. It's a twin blades, those are always fun. Those are always fun. So yeah, there's all different types of <clears throat> recipes and all different types of scrolls, different knowledge, things you can learn. You can learn to make a whole slew of different weapons, different armors, all well past base game. Again, this is why we tolerate the issues that come up sometimes when you modify games. Ooh, look at that. The spear shaman, a spear infused with venom. Hmm. I actually, I might make one of those. I should, <laughs> don't mind me here. Look at these bad boys. Steel punching daggers. Good lord. Huh? Look at, look at the lighting. I love this place. <laughs> Experimentalist weaponsmiths. Uh, okay, so that's just it. You build yourself something from over here. As you see, they're made much more expensive than their base game counterparts. You may get a slightly better than average weapon. You may get something really incredible. You may also just get garbage. Uh, as I said, here we are, my Eldritch Powered Armors Bench. I am working on, or working towards anyway. Still need a bunch of armor scraps. Where was it? Here we are. The crystal god breakers or just crystal breakers okay i thought they were still but i'm getting there okay so i've got god breakers all set to go i need more of these bounty assembly parts which you get from selling bounties and collect that's what i got before what else do you need armor scraps which is base game and star obsidian bars which are not neither of these are so there's the beauty. I mean, if you look through here, this just gets insane with someone's. Okay, well that's kind of straightforward. That's that's a Christmas hat. <laughs> but not only is there a bunch of additional armors, which you know, with their own values. I mean, look, look at the friggin' armor value of this. All right, insane. But you also have just jewelry, just decorative stuff that. Again, if you're into playing the game and just enjoying it, going as long as you can with it, seeing what kind of options are, having fun with it, or if you're deep into the role playing, I'm telling you, this gets addictive. I wasn't, I had a, uh, I still have them, a couple players. They were really hard up about one of the mods that we have now because look, it gives us heals and this, that, and the other. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, really? That's what we're after? Okay, granted, I haven't made any heals, but okay. I, I will say before I lost them all, I had quite a collection of outfits going. <laughs> it gets addictive. It really does. I, I wish I could show you my old collection of outfits. I might have some pictures uh, still kicking around. There might still be some on the Discord. I'm not sure. But... Oh, it's a shame. It really... Well, like, here, let me show you. So, here, we'll just take a look at myself. Uh, already, you see the glowing bag there. That's that's accessory. My pauldron on my left shoulder. I have a drinking horn on my waist. And you can't see it too well, but if you look, there on my wrist, there it is. That's right. <laughs> One of them daggers. <laughs> Uh, there's my wedding ring. Huh? See? I got myself another ring over here. That was actually, uh, that came out of one of our first events. From one of our older admins. He's not with us anymore. It's a shame, but hey, people move on in life. Uh, those were awesome rings. They add some great armor value. 
And let's see here, even more accessory-wise, let's see here, we'll get in a bit further. And you can look right in. As you see, I have eyebrow piercing, lip piercing, septum going on. I don't have any body piercing jewelry, no. The jewelry I got. Yep, see, there's the assassin's gauntlet. My wedding ring, the other ring, my pauldron, my mystic satchel, my horn. And then, not piercing, it's just jewelry. Yeah, here's my barbarian's necklace. Yeah, all extra accessories. And this is, oh, this is one of the awesomest things from, I believe, the modest fashionist. Okay, so you build yourself a little armor stand. You put your favorite outfit on it or you put your favorite combination of outfits, however you want to put it together, right? You go ahead and click on the radio wheel. You go to the right setting and you set your look to whatever is on that setup minus the accessories accessories are a separate thing as you saw i just put it on that other window uh but what you see me wearing is not the actual armor i am wearing the armor i am wearing is this stuff right here this void forged dragon and let me show you what it looks like when i'm wearing it And that is what my armor actually looks like. And as you see, the accessories are on it. But because of the addition of those wonderful extra boom, there we are. And this is the outfit that I have it set to. And there. So I'm still wearing the same armor that you just saw. That hasn't changed. So I keep the same armor values. I mean, look at this. Look at the armor value on this. Right? That's insane. There's my armor value. Heavy. But not what I'm wearing, is it? Again, it's... Eh, love to decorate. It's fun. Decorate the houses quite a bit. See, you a lamp light? Yep, see, there's a lamp lighter. So their job purely is to turn any lights that can be turned on and off, they turn them on and off. They're lamp lighters. Kind of what they do. But uh, as I said, you know, we try to cut down on that. So these are all static. If you look, the lights here, that's static. That's just a straight source. These are just the radium torches that uh, I put a nice blue in. Which looks really well. I like ambient lighting, okay? The torches destroy some of the aesthetic. Leave me alone. Don't judge me. It's how I play the game. <laughs> Told you. We build. We decorate. That's what we do. We enjoy it. We have fun. We're not just here to slaughter each other. Sometimes, but, you know, it's, it's done out of love. As I said, I ran out of coffee. <laughs> wow, already 11.30. Good Lord, look at the time fly when you're having Conan. And see, I haven't been lagging here at my place, just lagging at the other places. Been a while. Now the sun's up. Let's go ahead and get a good look here. Oh, not the settings. What are you doing? Reject. Cheat panel. That's what we wanted. Ta-da! Give you a quick bird's eye. This is the new place. I'm I'm learning to love it, but it will never be Raven Oak Manor and Farms at the Falls. <laughs> yeah, it's my new place. Love those mushrooms. I think that's Shanny stuff again. Love those mushrooms. Well, as I said, we have a restart coming in about a half hour anyway. So I think I'm going to kill it here. I think that was a good, quick little rundown of 
operation we have here. As I said, it is a public server. So if you are into Conan, if you've played it before and you haven't in some time, you might want to try again. It is a completely different game when there's no theft. I can guarantee you of that. Uh, yep, but I just wanted to show you all the server real quick. And, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do next time we're on here. Maybe I'll show how we do some quests, or maybe we'll run around and see what kind of stupidity we get into. But there you go. That is the Perils of Power, PvEC, and RP server. <laughs> I have a terrible salesman. That's why I did it for only like a month or two. Anyhow, uh, yep, thanks for uh, joining. If you didn't make it, maybe I'll catch you next time. But if not, take it easy. Maybe if this thing... Maybe it'll stop. Hmm. Oh, hold on.